Hello and welcome back to another review from Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest update from Project Elixir. Yes, that is right, the Project Elixir Android version 12 and the ROM includes GUPS 2. So let's have a look at the version information first. As you can see, um, this is the Project Elixir, Elixir latest version. The Android security update is 5th of February and uh, Elixir version is 1.5. Device maintainer is Ansaria, AC Linux is enforcing and the kernel that I'm using with this particular ROM is 4.19.227. Now, um, to talk about, just to give you a brief about the ROM, the ROM is very smooth. Many thanks to Ansaria. He has done a wonderful job in, uh, in optimizing his trees and delivering a delivering a good performance rom for us the poco m3 or juice devices users so even though the rom is um gapps version that i'm using the rom is not bloated with quite a lot of gapps only some useful stuff is inside in the rom now as you can see once you go to the home settings you will understand that the rom uses default google launcher so as default launcher then coming to the widgets you will get the clock widget the latest android 12 clock widgets so um the dialer and messaging app are again the same google uh, dialer and messages app there is no change in it so let's go to the settings page first as you can see there is quite a lot of improvement in the settings page it's a kind of card kind of layout that's been given to the settings page which looks really nice as you can see the scrolling is quite smooth too even you can see the app launching it's really um, really smooth and there isn't any lag or jitter with the app launching and stuff like that then coming to the quick settings uh, the quick settings has the stock user interface layout and there is a automatic brightness button that, so that is the only addition in the quick settings um, quick settings so let's come back to the um, settings page as you can see the settings page has been modified or the the they have changed the user interface for the settings page so um let's take a look at the roms overall customization so essence is the name that they had given for the roms customization so once taking the essence you can see um the first option for customization is uh, themes so basically if you want to use the um, black color theme for your uh, your your night mode or dark theme uh, there is a toggle button for that you can enable it then coming next is the status bar so basically you will get some some customization with the rom not quite a lot of customization like derp first or evolution x nusandra or something like that i'm just i'm just naming few so um you will get some meaningful customization in this rom so here you have the option to ca customize the network network traffic indicator and uh, wall light icon if you want to have wall light icon definitely they are providing you with different wall light icons so if you want to have it definitely you can have then uh, then comes the status bar gesture if you want to um enable tap to sleep for status bar gesture you can do that then comes the clock option and battery style you will get some battery styles and finally status bar icon tuner where you can enable and disable certain icons on the status bar then moving to the next is the quick settings um, customization so basically in quick settings you can adjust the brightness uh, brightness bar where it want to be displayed in quick settings um, like on bottom or on top if you don't want to see the adaptive but brightness button definitely you can hide that one too then the final thing is lock screen you will have you can enable and disable a uh, double tap to sleep on lock screen then you can have the lock screen charging information for small clock and etc etc then finally on the extra menus um you can enable advanced restart then fingerprint success vibration stuff like that and in call vibration the notification option you can and you can hide the annoying notification so basically the rom is offering you minimal customization but they are meaningful they are useful customization if you just want to have a minimal customizable rom then coming to the wallpaper and style well under the wallpaper and style uh, themed icons are working so even you can adjust the app grid size too then finally what i wanted to show you is the rom is equipped with the xiaomi parts 
where you can have mi sound and can enhancer and stuff like that so basically um the rom offers very good user interface and uh, it's a really cool rom too so, uh, so on displays more theming options are being given so you can select a custom um, option for headlight for the fonts icon shapes and icon pipe too so yeah here we are so basically the rom is offering you with the minimal customization but meaningful customization the rom is offering good performance with the fury 4.19.227 kernel so um the rom is really nice i'm not boasting about a particular rom or i'm not boasting just because particular person is maintaining that particular rom but the rom is excellent it's really an awesome rom if you want to use it definitely you can use it as a daily driver too the safety nest and safety net passes with magisk hide so there isn't any issue with the safety net and um, that's a review about project elixir it's a nice rom wonderful rom if you want to use it you can definitely use it as a daily driver i can recommend for uh, recommend it to you to use it as a daily driver it's an amazing rom so many thanks for ansaria for optimizing the tree and also for comparing the rom for our use devices once again i would like to thank you for watching the review and uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you